House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy is like most useless members of Congress. He wants credit for doing less than the bare minimum. But we're here today to explain to you why Kevin McCarthy gets no cookies. No cookies for you, I'm sorry. So McCarthy wanted some credit because he <laughs> was super strong and standing up against Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene when she wanted to do her whole racist America first caucus to protect Anglo-Saxon values. But the fact of the matter is he just shows that he's a spineless narcissist in so many different cases. For instance, he's so bratty. They, he couldn't get himself to clap at something that's obviously worth clapping for. During Joe Biden's address to a joint session of Congress, he mentioned replacing old lead ridden pipes in schools. And take a look at how McCarthy responded. Up to 10 million homes in America and more than 400,000 schools and childcare centers have pipes with lead in them, including drinking water. A clear and present danger to our children's health. American Jobs Plan creates jobs replacing 100% of the nation's lead pipes and service lines. So every American can drink clean water. What a crappy per, I mean, look, I, I get that they're just completely driven by politics. But how do you not clap for that? What, yeah. like, do you disagree with that? Do you think it's okay to have old lead pipes that make people sick? Is that cool with you? You don't like it, you're offended by that? No, no cookies for you. <laughs> yeah, Oh, I stood up to Lauren Boebert uh, and you know, uh, and I stood up against clean water. <laughs> Congrats, you must be so proud. But guys, it, it is, it's a funny story and with a very funny intro, <laughs> uh, but uh, it is indicative of what's happened in, in America. The Republican Party has become so extreme. Look, I know because I've been covering politics for way too long, unfortunately. Um, and, and in the old days, both parties would stand and clap uh, as a matter of course for simple lines. Like, oh, our troops are the greatest in the world, okay, uh, right? And oh my God, America is number one, uh, clean water, uh, clean air. Uh, like, nobody meant anything, but they would just do it, right? As Now the Republican Party is so extreme, they're like, clean water. <laughs> Who needs it, right? And the mask to keep you healthy, ah, I hate them. Ah, smear the coronavirus on yourself, vaccine to keep you, ah, 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 lead pipes, yes, yes, lead pipes. Okay, I mean, and and 40% of the country is here for it. They're like, oh yeah, I don't want the clean water. I bet Bill Gates put made the water clean. They don't even ever hear <laughs> about the clean water. That's the problem. That is the problem. That, I mean, do you think that they're sitting around watching Joe Biden's speech? Probably not. Yeah. They're probably watching Fox News and and whatever their post speech commentary is, which is typically terrible and doesn't actually talk about what Biden's proposing. But you know, what I just find so fascinating is that there's this trend of Republican lawmakers not even doing the bare minimum, right? In in telling the truth or applauding policies that make sense and would actually benefit the lives of their own constituents. Like they don't do any of that. But they'll do small things like yeah, maybe we shouldn't have an America first racist caucus. Maybe that's a, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna just quietly say that and try to get Marjorie Taylor Greene to stop it. Wow, congratulations, wow, you're so strong. It's just, you get no credit. I'm, I'm tired of people in positions of power expecting us to applaud their mediocre behavior and how poorly they do their jobs. And it doesn't matter if it's Democrat or Republican. I mean, just yesterday we talked about a New York Post reporter who first wrote a fake story about Kamala Harris that she was allegedly forced to write. And then after writing it, she quit. And everyone's like, I get the sense that she wanted credit for it. Yeah. No, no credit, you quit before you publish the fake news story. You quit before, but yeah. she didn't do that. She didn't last thing on this, it also gives you an indication of where the Democratic Party is. So if they were an effective party, they would take a position like the Republicans saying, no, we're not really in favor of clean water, we don't spend money on that. And you would bludgeon them politically. You would come out and you'd say every day, the Republicans don't want you to have clean water. 
They don't totally. want your kids to have clean water. You know what happens if there's lead in the water? It causes brain damage in your children. That's a fact, that's true. So the, and the Republicans want your kids to have brain damage. What the hell is wrong with them? And force the media to go, well, now technically it is true, lead does cause brain damage. Then they'll try to find an on the other hand. On the other hand, it, it creates more Republican voters. Um, and so, but, and what are we talking about? How Republicans don't want clean water, they want lead in the water, and, and they want your kids to have brain damage. Politics is oftentimes not complicated, yet the Democrats will do, you know it, everybody watching knows it, they'll do none of that. They never fight back. A good politician has a healthy inventory of carrots and sticks. And so Democrats don't get cookies either because they don't use carrots or sticks. They just say wonderful things that they allegedly want to accomplish and then they don't actually fight to accomplish them. So second part of the McCarthy story and why he doesn't get any cookies is the fact that he keeps pushing these lies about how Biden is gonna ration red meat as part of his climate plan. That's already been debunked, but it doesn't stop Kevin McCarthy from spreading the lie. We've been down this road, it's called Solyndra. Why double down on stupid? He just continues, he wants control of your life. He's gonna control how much meat you can eat. Can you imagine that? Yeah, it's interesting that that exchange happened on Fox News, the very same cable news network that issued this correction. On Friday, we told you about a study from the University of Michigan to give some perspective on President Biden's ambitious climate change goals. That research from 2020 found that cutting back how much red meat people eat would have a drastic impact on harmful greenhouse gas emissions. The data was accurate, but a graphic and a script incorrectly implied that it was part of Biden's plan for dealing with climate change. That is not the case. Yeah, that is not the case, but Kevin McCarthy will continue spreading that lie. And did Sean Hannity correct him? Of course not, um, because what do the Republicans do? It actually is smart politics, they repeat and repeat and repeat, but they just don't care if it's a lie. It's amazing, they're like, yeah, we all know it's a lie, who cares? We'll get everybody to believe it, 40% of the country will believe it. Why would you care about truth and morality? That's the Republican party. Meanwhile, Democrats have the things that are actually true on their side, and they're like, don't say it. It might be rude to say it, Oh my God. The only thing Biden said about Republicans yesterday was that he really approved of them coming out with their own plans. Like he, he, he said, I applaud them. That was the only reference to Republicans. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Last thing on this, Solyndra was an old school talking point that the Fox News tried during the Obama years. One company that went into green energy failed that American government had financed to some degree, subsidized, right? Um, and But then the reason they dropped it is because that program that Obama ran to subsidize green energy was enormously successful. Not only did it develop the industry, but it made a profit and brought tons of money back into the government. But everybody's forgotten that. So Hannity goes, oh, I, I saw like Solyndra, remember? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I thought, Hannity. They're all liars, they really are, they really are. They they're serial liars. If they didn't lie though, what would they talk about? Like really think about it. And and I know I repeat this point a lot, but bear with me because I think it it's relevant and it applies. What do Republicans offer you? What do they offer you? What are their solutions? What are their policy proposals? They complain about all of these parts of government, they complain about all of these policy proposals, they complain they complain about the Affordable Care Act. They had all that time to come up with a replacement for the Affordable Care Act. What did they have? Nothing, nothing. So what are they gonna offer you? Nothing, what are they gonna do when they do these interviews? Just lie, just attack the other side. That's why with Republicans, all you get is lies and attacks on cable news. And with Democrats, yeah, you'll get proposals, but you won't get a fight. And then you'll get surrender afterwards. That's why, to back up Anna's point, in this particular story, so what is the Republican proposal of getting the lead out of the water? None, they don't have one. They just go burgers, squirrel. Totally. That's the Republican party. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get 
playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.